Day Day here with another gameplay in the day, and we're bringing you a quick tip on how to improve your aim. It will drastically change it forever. All right, so we're going to be jumping right on into it. We're going to be going to controller settings. Uh, we're going to be going to on foot, and as you can see, soldier aim sensitivity. So this is updating my controller settings. Uh, I put a video out a couple weeks ago, so this is going to be updating that. My soldier aim sensitivity is now on 50. I find that to be the sweet spot. Um, you want to keep your vertical foot, uh, invert vertical look on off. Field of view. I actually brought this down. Remember, I used to keep it at 100. I brought it down to 90, and just at 10 degrees makes a huge difference for me. However, you may want to continue to mess around with it to see if you can find a better one. 90 may not work for you. Maybe it's 95. Maybe it's 85. You don't know. You just got to mess around with that one. That one comes down to preference. So continue to mess with that one. Try it at 90, and let me know if it actually does make it better for you. ADS field of view, you want to make sure that this is turned on. Now, this was turned on in my last settings as well, but make sure you have this one turned on. Basically, whenever it's on, magnification of the weapon sight will be relative to the user-defined FOV. When off, it will be relative to the default FOV. So, whenever you aim down sights, if you don't have this turned on, your FOV is still going to be at 90 versus zooming in. And this is also what helps get rid of some of that visual recoil that a lot of people see or don't see. So, if you're having a lot of visual recoil, turn this on and you'll see that it goes away. Now you'll still have the recoil, it just won't be bouncing as much, like visually. Okay, so the next tip, you're gonna come all the way down to advance. Everything else stayed the same from my previous video, and it's pretty much on all default. So aiming left and right acceleration, brought this down to zero, and then vertical aim ratio, I brought up to 100. If we look over at the description, adjust the ratio of vertical aim to horizontal aim for the soldier. At 100%, the crosshair moves at the same distance when aiming vertically as it does when aiming horizontally. Lower values dampen the vertical input aid with finer controls. So basically what it's saying is if you lower it below 100 then or raise it above 100, it's not going to be the same as whenever you're looking left to right. And that's why your aim may be good getting off because you're used to the way you're looking left and right at going at a certain speed. But if you have your aim sensitivity like I did, and I said in my previous video, vertical aim ratio, I had it, I believe, down or up. I can't really remember at this point. Uh, I've been messing with this for a couple of weeks now or a couple of days. Um, now, now it's the same. So it's more consistent whenever I'm looking around, whether it's left, right, up, down, diagonal, whatever have you. So put that at 100 and then turn uniform soldier aiming off. I mean, sorry, on. And what it's gonna do is just make sure that it's all the same. All the sensitivity or the aim ratio is gonna be the same whether you're zoomed in or not. The next tip that I have for you is bringing down coefficient to zero. Now, in my last video, I had it up to maybe 100 or 80, and I said to mess around with it. I do believe now that having it down to zero, especially since there's been some updates since my last video, that this is the best one. Fine tune the uniform soldier aiming. If enabled, a greater value results in a higher sensitivity at a higher zoom level. So if you have this turned on, your sensitivity is actually gonna be a lot higher like I said in my previous video. So turning this down, again, is gonna keep that consistent aim ratio or that consistent fluid motion going on. It's not gonna just speed up whenever you're, you're not aiming down sights, you aim down sights and all of a sudden your sensitivity is 20 times different. And then for the rest of these, they're basically, I mean, they're not basically, they're all at 100. And then one other thing that I would have to add to this is turn your controller vibration off. A lot of players play with this on, turn it off, and I have my center dead, dead zone, axle dead zone, and max input threshold set to the following as 5, 15, 100. And that is all the way down, except for when you get to the controller triggers, they are just default. Yo, if you enjoyed the video, I asked you please hit the like button. It really does help out a lot. Also, check out either the video I just uploaded yesterday or the shorts playlist. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace and love.